today on Running to Him. The walk with God is set by looking to the future. And this is the devotion for 524. Today we will read 2 Samuel chapters 5 through 9 and concentrate on chapters 7 and read verses 12 through 16. When your days are complete and you lie down with your fathers, I will raise up a descendant after you who will come forth from you, and I will establish his kingdom. And he shall build a house for his name, and I will establish that throne of his kingdom forever. I will be a father to him, and he will be a son to me. When he commits iniquity, I will correct him with the rod of men and the strokes of the sons of men. But my loving kindness shall not depart from whom I took it away from Saul, whom I removed from before you. Your house and your kingdom shall endure before me forever. Your throne shall be established forever. Now, I recently read a book called The Wisdom of the Bullfrog. Admiral McCraven, a retired four-star admiral in charge of the Navy SEALs, wrote it. Now, this person who is holding the highest SEAL position is also known as the Bullfrog. One of his chapters when it's entitled, Yesterday Was the Only Easy Day You Had. And that got me thinking about the way we live in the present. We fret about the past, but God lives in the future. In today's reading, David is recognized by all Israel as their king, and he defeats the Philistines and beats the people of Jerusalem, brings the Ark of the Covenant to Jerusalem, and eventually wants to build a permanent structure of that over that Ark. At first, Nathan the prophet tells David to go ahead and do it, but God corrected him and told him to go and tell David. What followed was the promise that the house of David would remain the provider of kings for Israel. For this reason, Messiah had to come from the line of David. Jesus fit that role. God doesn't work in the present. He works in the future. Now let me explain. God knew everything about my life well before I was born. If he didn't know about my life, then he couldn't have been God. Too many things have happened in my life, too, and too many things have fallen together to believe in a simple coincidence. God is the one who worked out the things in my life, and he didn't do it in real time. He did it before time began. So what's the point of praying for something then? If it's already supposed to happen, what will my prayer do? Well, the answer is simple. Our prayers to God are a way to align ourselves with what God wants. For example, recently, the daughter of a person I know became sick, and usually the kind of sickness that she had takes severe intervention for the person to survive. However, all indications are that she has been made well, not because of what the doctors did, but because of what God did. But he had that planned out before she ever got sick. The purpose of our prayers was to draw us closer to that person and to her family. It was to comfort her and her parents. God wants us to look to the future. He doesn't want us to be static. He doesn't want the status quo. Instead, he wants us to move out, looking for him and bringing him into our lives on a second-to-second basis. So, We need to stop thinking about the present and concentrate on what God has for us in the future, whether that future is five minutes from now, five months, or five years. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at Phineas Jacobus at runningtohim.net.